schön. Good morning, everyone. Happy 2023. Oh my gosh, I actually can't believe it's 2023 right now. That's insane. What? How did that even happen? Well, we dive straight into 2023 with some monthly favourites that make me feel good. They make me feel like that girl, make me feel productive, and just like little things that I use every day that make me like, just like that feel a touch more like put together, I guess. I just had a shower and I used the Garnier Fructose Hydrate and Aloe Vera Hair Food and I love this. I started using this when I first started going to Abby's house like, I don't know, like six months ago and I have not stopped buying it. Like this is the best thing ever. It is so good, especially on my damaged like blonde bleached hair. Um, this just like once a week I do this and it's like a little mask and I leave it in for like five minutes. So it like as my conditioner and it just like... You walk out and you're like, oh, okay, we're good. But this is definitely number one of my favorites because like having fresh clean hair like, just makes you feel so good. Because I hate styling my hair every day because like, I'm just like, let's not, it's too much energy. We're just going to wash her, brush her out, let her air dry, and sort of just, like let her do what she wants to do. So I feel like having like nice, healthy hair is like a good way to make me feel good about that in a way. One of your favorites, let's be honest. I don't have a gazillion dollars to spend on like a thousand like little things that are each like five hundred dollars each. So I feel like my monthly favourites are quite affordable. Because your girl is on a budget lifestyle and that is so fine that we can still feel great about ourselves in a budget lifestyle. Which I'm straight into like, to my second monthly favourite and I really can't like separate these because these all work together I feel. So this is number two for my monthly favourites. It is my skincare and I will not have a good day unless I have my skincare on. So the first thing I do is take my gather shower every morning is lather my face in these items. I feel like if you follow me on Instagram you'll see me literally post about these every single day. That's just because I'm obsessed with them. But first we're going to start off with the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid 2% plus B5. This stuff is like just been a lifesaver with me. I have bad hormonal acne. I have PCOS, I have hormonal imbalances, and they all just come out on my face. But for some reason, this is the only thing that's worked so far to get rid of like my acne scars and actually get rid of my acne. Like I have not had clear skin in I don't know how long. Like I've had full pimples all through high school, all through out of school. I used to be so insecure about them. But ever since using that, that's my third bottle now. And for some reason, it just works. It works so well. I love putting this on a damp face, like as you go out of the shower. It just helps absorb all the moisture and helps stick to your skin and like melt in. One thing I do every single day and I do not re recommend doing is getting it in your eyes. I always get it in my eyes and it always hurts. So don't do that. Always remember to go down your neck as well because I'm not making about my neck. That's acne too, which is so lovely. My next skincare item is the Mega Cosmetica Hydrating Moisturizer with Hyaluronic Acid as well. Um, love this. I actually love this. I'm almost empty out of, actually all these products I'm almost empty out of. But like just the, the decanter, stop. I'll buy anything that looks like this. I just love this. It's not too thick and it just makes me feel so hydrated after using it. You don't need much as well, like two pumps is good. Look, I normally do like five if I'm feeling like I really need it, but two more pumps is like good on an everyday basis. And lastly, probably the most important thing is my Naked Sundays Hydrating Glow Mist with SPS 50 Plus with hyaluronic acid as well, cake dumb plum and watermelon extract. This, oh, Holy grail. This is like the best thing ever. Literally stunning. I love this. I've been using this, oh my god, probably like five months as well. Like it's so good. It's a sunscreen spray. I put it over like my face, my decolletage every morning. It helps prevent me from like any sun damage if I go out in the sun. Don't normally go in the sun, but when I do, it's perfect. Okay, so I'm all showered and dry now, and we're gonna jump into the next monthly favorite, and it would be this gorgeous matching tracksuit from Zep. I'm literally obsessed with this. I wear it like three times a week. It's actually really bad. 
It's literally like the comfiest thing to wear when you're like just trying to work and get stuff done. I always find it hard to sometimes find track sets that like fit me the right way everywhere. And this step one, she's stunning. I could literally even go like a size down. Like this jumper is huge and I love it. So any bigger girls that are looking for a track set, this is the one to get. It's this gorgeous color. I just got Zep written here and then the same like on the pants. And I just love it. I love actually wearing it open. I think it's like the best accessory to have. Just like so comfy and like chuck on a pair of new balances and you're good to go. It is time for some coffee. You guys probably see my trashed kitchen and the glass behind, but that is not a monthly favorite. It's cleaning the kitchen. I'm not doing that. I've just made my coffee with my Law coffee machine and she is stunning and frothy. And we're gonna make some milk so we can make like a little cappuccino vibe. I just have the Vitasoy oat milk on Sweden. This is like the only one that I like. I buy the exact same milk every single week. Just fill her up. I probably don't have enough in there. No. Just have a small coffee today because we're out. But it's really one of my monthly favorites. It wasn't like in my list, but I feel like I'm gonna add it. My milk frother. I love her. She's got used like three times a day with all my coffees. It is just a jug like this and has a little base and you use hit hot or cold so you can make like cold fro foam froth for like ice lattes which I think is like the most yummiest thing ever. I'll list her below. I'm literally pretty sure I got her at Aldi. Like it's just the Bellini brand but does the job like perfection. You can hear a frothy in the back but my main monthly favourite for my little coffee section is my coffee cups. I love my ceramic coffee cups. I literally have so many. I have this little ladybug one, this gorgeous one. I love this. I have like ones like this. I have tons like this. They're actually all in the wash because I use them every single day. But honestly, I don't think you can get any of these anymore, which is so, sort of a bad monthly favourites. But I'll find some pottery artists that I really like and I'll link their stuff below because honestly, the cups are like normally like $20, $30, which I know is a lot for a mug, but it just like makes me feel good drinking out of it. Like I like... Just enjoy my coffee so much more drinking out of a little ceramic mug. I don't know what it is, but I sit there and I drink my coffee and I'm like, cute cup, good feeling, good feeling. Yeah, I see it's like all frothed up. There's not much in there because I didn't realize I was out, but we're just gonna pour her in. And get all the foam. Stunning, we got like a little, little latte to enjoy our morning. Oh literally the best thing. I was talking to Jake before and I was like, I want to hurry up and film this video so I can get to my coffee because I cannot function without my coffee. I'm surprised I last this long. But I am going to go sit down and enjoy this now. Just take a tenner, I think. Probably call Abby, FaceTime her, so I do every morning with my coffee. So I've just finished my coffee and FaceTime and Abby and it's time to go to the gym now. Today I think we're going to do arms and some cardio. But first thing, I need to pick out a super cute activewear set so I feel good about myself. Alright, I'm thinking this set, I'm just going to chuck it on. Okay, so I'm all dressed, which leads me in to my next monthly favourite, which would be my gym trainers. These are Prev Adidas. They are, I believe they're Ultra Boost. I will get the right name for you guys and list it below. But these are amazing. These are a lifesaver. Um, I struggle with really bad shin splints. So if you guys struggle with them too, I went to, got mine from... What is it called? Like athletes for? And they like fitted my foot out and like these are the best ones. And I was like, sweet, because my shin splints like made me not be able to walk, which was just bloody hell. But since having those, and I've been doing lots of cardio lately, I haven't had any touch wood yet, which is very good because literally this like even just wearing my loafers that I wear all the time for more than half a day, I have like really bad shin splints. So my legs ache the next day, like no tomorrow. Literally so easy to slide onto, like they just like slide on sort of <laughs> but we're just gonna um have our oxy shred before we go because we're bodybuilders <laughs> we just take the ehp labs oxy shred in passion fruit and jack and i are gonna take that Get your cup yeah jack's time. christmas cup that <laughs> he uses still christmas literally so cute we've just chucked ice and water in our cups because they're like nothing worse than a warm drink you don't want to drink Powdery drink. Yeah. 
one of you. Let's give it a swirl. Give it a swirl, yeah. And one for me. Stunning. Before we go quickly, I need to put deodorant on because that will be yucky. I'm just going to use my wild deodorant because worse than putting harsh chemicals in your body. I got sent this uh, maybe a week or two ago, probably two now, and I'm obsessed. Me talking about harsh chemicals, Jake spraying deodorant in the background. <laughs> I love the smell of it. It's a blossom cotton, I'm pretty sure, and love her. This will probably be my next monthly favourite. I don't want to put it in today's one just because I haven't like had it for more than a month. So. But so far I'm obsessed and they sent me a few flavours and I'm very excited to try them out. And there's my name on it. On my deodorant. Stop it right now. Okay, we're going to go to the gym now and I'll chat with you guys later. to get some work done. I actually need to like, do some emails and editing and whatnot. But I thought that could bring us to our next monthly favourites. I have two that I like to have while I'm editing and having some quiet time. My first one is to light a candle. So my favourite at the moment is this glass house one. It's a Christmas one. It's the white Christmas and it's cedar leaf and fruity clove and I love this. It just smells like super vanilla really. Vanilla... <laughs> Sweet. Lily, Lily, I don't know that word with like a little like touch of floral I think I don't know I'm not very good at describing scents but I love this one um, I know glass house candles are quite expensive like it's sort of a splurge I don't really buy them that often to be honest so I thought I could list some more affordable candles that I enjoy below but a huge tip that I would like give to everyone that I love doing which is like it's sustainable and it's fun is we keep our all our candle jars and we reuse them and make our own candles so me and my mum do that like once every couple of months and we get all our jars together and we have a little candle making day and it's so much fun and then you get like a gazillion candles out of it which is like stunning another thing I um, struggle a lot with overthinking I guess you'd say anxiety stuff like that so I like to have like a low noise on in the background just playing while I'm editing just so like I have something to like keep my mind occupied while there's silence um, and that brings us to our next monthly favorite which would be the Google Home now I did buy this Google Home for Jake as a birthday present but I feel like it's a present for me too because I love it and I feel like we're gonna buy more now <laughs> So we have ours just in the corner here, I don't know, and I love it, like, always have it on. I'll turn it on to show you guys, but then I can't turn it off just because of copyright, obviously. Hey Google, say ambient noise, and it's actually that simple, and there's just like an ambient noise in the background, and there's like so many settings, and I think it's like just such a good investment. I'm pretty sure they're on sale at the moment, and Officeworks too, for like, I think I saw like $35, which I think is like the best investment for any like lounge room or bedroom or even bathroom like when you're showering which is really nice but i'm just gonna sit here i have my ipad here i just need to have i just checked before and i have a few emails i need to reply to because i am the worst when it comes to reply to emails brands email me you know, and they're like girl where are you and i'm like i'm alive i just have anxiety answering emails which is so fun so i'm gonna do that and get on top of it because it's monday so i have to get a lot from the weekend and i'll probably start editing this vlog so i have it up for you guys because another thing I'm um, bad at is editing my vlogs. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that for the next like probably a couple of hours and I'll check back in with you for our final little monthly favorites. I am so freaking excited for it to be wind down time. I I am literally dead off the gym, it actually murdered me. I just put my pyjamas on, my little headband on so I can relax and watch a movie on the couch with Jake. But that brings us to our last little segment of my monthly favourites, which is 
my little silk PJs. I think investing in a pair of satin pajamas was like literally the best choice I've ever made. This set here is from Homebody. I got this last year for a friend's wedding actually. We all got matching pajamas and it's like the best choice I've ever made. Like I wear these every single night without a doubt, which is so unsanitary, but I promise I wash them sometimes. <laughs> But this set is just like a pink little short satin set and I've got my name embroidered on it here. It says Kitty, which I think is so freaking cute. Like a pair of like personalized satin pajamas is like the best thing ever. I'll link a few different types down below because I know like some can be very expensive. So I'll try and find some affordable ones and like list them down below for you guys. That is my final monthly favorites recap. It was so much fun listening to all these. I am hoping to do these each month. Let me know what you guys think of them, if you like them, if you don't etc etc but thank you so much for coming around with me today it was so fun vlogging today while i worked and got everything done and i'll see you guys next week bye